Welcome to Master Specs On Demand Training. In this video, we will be taking you through Master Specs Basics, how to create and complete a project specification. Feel free at any time to skip ahead and view the timestamp section you require. Once you have logged into masterspec.co.nz, you will land on your practice dashboard. You can access existing project specifications on this page or select Create a new specification to start from scratch. You can select a new project, or if you would like to create multiple specifications under a project, select Existing. Enter information into all fields. This information will also be useful for later search functionality. Then, select how you would like to create your specification. Once you've selected, simply click Add. Now, you are directed to the Project Administration screen. This summarizes the project details and actions. You will see four distinct panels. If your browser is not set to 100%, you may see toggles on either side, which will expand to show the index on the left and my products on the right. To begin building your specification, find the third panel from the left. The tab title will read Master Spec Systems. The libraries your practice is subscribed to will be highlighted in orange. Select the libraries you would like to start specifying from. Once inside the library, you will see a set of selectable tabs. Note that these are in construction order. This is a classification and coding system specifically built for the New Zealand construction sector, which is maintained and managed by MasterSpec for the industry. This coding system is called Coordinated Building Information, and you will often hear it referred to as CBI. CBI makes it easy to navigate to similar work sections. You can also use a simple search function to help you find your way by searching by keyword, products, and even the CBI number itself. When you find the work section that you would like to specify, simply select the title to begin the Q&A. This will ask you specific questions about the project and save you valuable time by pre-editing the work section to be project specific. Select Add to Document to include it to the specification. The work section will now be editable in the Edit panel. You will notice the black text is editable and will print out on completion, whereas the green text are just called guidance notes, and these are there to help guide you through the writing process. You can highlight the guidance notes and drag and drop them into the columns. Although it seems counterintuitive, we recommend editing the document in reverse order. Start at the last tab, Selections, and the product choices will inform you how you might edit or add to the specification section. Work backwards until you end up in the General tab. Starting on tab 4 selections, you will begin by locating the tilde's that wave-like character here, and replacing it with project-specific content. Feel free to use the tools within the editing bar to highlight, bold, redo, undo, and structure your clauses. You can also use the drop-down gray arrow to add and remove entire clauses. The guidance notes will assist you in entering information into the clauses. On the right-hand side, the My Products panel will automatically populate with related products to the selected work section. You can browse through the products and gain a deeper understanding of the product system you are specifying. If the section is a branded work section, you will be able to send the manufacturer a work section support request. Work section support allows you to send manufacturers your active work section to comment, review, and collaborate on. Simply select the contact button and provide project information to help give context about your project, including whether you would like them to edit the entire document, including the Q&A, or edit the existing information provided. The last option is simply to comment on the work section. Upon completion, you will be able to incorporate their product-specific detail back into your specification. Once you have completed the work section, select Set to Complete. MDocs will then appear as a flyout on the right-hand side of the screen, allowing you to attach any information the manufacturer has deemed useful for the product featured that relate to the performance, maintenance, installation, environmental, and warranty. 
Simply select single or multiple documents by selecting Attach and Finish to add these documents to MDocs Appendix. This will export with its own document title page and bookmarks for quick reference. To complete the specification, ensure all your work sections are set to complete, then select Manage and Print. From here, select Set to Complete and then Update. To export the specification, select Export. Complete the selections you prefer. If you would like to export the MDocs appendix, select the Manufacturer Information slider. Selecting Export Now will create a specification in your preferred file format.